Right, hello. You're joining me in the summer house. Late November. So up to now it's been fairly mild, but we're uh, getting some cold weather coming our way. Um, so I've been keeping an eye on the temperatures. Got a maximum minimum temperature gauge here. So over this week we had a maximum of 20 in here when you know, get a sunny day, it did warm up quite nicely, like a, a bit like a greenhouse. And minimum temperature's been 10.8, so nearly 11, so that's quite reasonable. Current temperature's only 12 and a half, because it's a really overcast, miserable day. But yeah, I think it's worth keeping an eye on the temperature levels, especially now we're getting some cold. So interestingly, outside we got down to about 7 degrees and the minimum there is 10 so we're you now gaining a 4 degrees on the outside temperature so that can, you know, in the harshest winter that could make all the difference between losing a plant and not and obviously in a drier environment it's going to help as well. Uh, the main reason why I'm in here is uh, I had a request for an update on the video, I believe it's the last uh, palm, eBay palm order I got. So I think I've done a video last week or a week before on a couple that I got in that order which are indoors so that's already sort of covered in the update of that so if you haven't seen that you can go back and watch that but um, we'll have a look at the few that we got which are outside here we've got a Phoenix Sylvestris so I'm guessing that was just over a month ago I got these obviously I'm not expecting any growth I repot straight away this leaf was already sort of the oldest leaf dying off so I'm not concerned about that It is starting to go pin eight. Obviously, I'm not expecting any growth over winter off that at all. But um, yeah, I'll just keep nine. If it do get really cold, I might take it indoors. But in general, I'm hoping you know most uh, phoenix species are pretty cold tolerant. They can take low temperatures. But obviously, these are young palms, so I will be keep an eye on them like say so give them a, a weekly check and um, next to that the Livingstone Australis now again repotted and um, looking absolutely fine and it's got a little spear there I don't think uh, that's gonna do any growing now and then uh, coming around here we've got Gonna focus in. Well, that's the Phoenix Reclinata anyway. I think it's focusing. So again, I think we had a couple of the older leaves were already when received were starting to die back a little bit, but new leaves looking absolutely fine. So again, that's one that can take a little bit of cold so that's gonna hopefully stay out all winter if we don't get stupid cold but while we're on there so I think that is it really what I've got outside for the most recent eBay order I got and uh, like I say that was about a month ago so they've been repotted I've watered them once they're sat in here it's been cool to mild so I'm not expecting any growth, but while we're on the, the Phoenix species, let's we'll have a look at the Robolini. So this is a double, which was in my front garden all summer. Um, a couple of the old leaves, obviously, are brown and tipped. I'm not concerned about that whatsoever. What you don't want to see is any sort of brown and tips on the the newer growth. So, 
if we don't get too harsh a winter that this will stay in here all winter and you know I can always uh, if these do die back or look really rough I'll just cut them back and uh, let the new foliage come through they, they do tend to you can see there's three spears there three at once there and this one's open up four so they, they do chuck out a lot at once so I'm not concerned too much about them last year I overwintered this in the house this as a house plant flew through no problem kept it on the drier side didn't seem to mind the lower light conditions but again you got prioritise there uh, what you can fit in the house and what you want to grow and what you want to or what you can afford to sit dormant for the winter so that is Phoenix Robeline, like I say, there's uh, two in that pot. And another Phoenix. We've got the uh, Rupicola or Rupicola, however you want to say it. Uh, it's just started to open a new leaf. Looking a bit pale. Not surprised, it's cold. And it's got a new spear pushing out there as well. So this would be one which is uh, probably one of the more tropical ones. This and the Robolini tend to look to give you a bit more of a tropical look, I think, than the Canariensis and some of the other date fruit and ro um, phoenix. But this one is, uh, as it gets bigger, the, they tend to, the fronds will tend to sort of swirl a bit and go on a sidewards plane so as they come out they'll be flat and then maybe halfway down they'll start to curl over a little bit and they do tend to yeah look quite nice and tropical so yeah just a look at through the palms a little update on uh, some of the the newer ones and a little look at some of the ones that are overwintering in here we've still got King Palms at the back, there's a triple in a pot. And that's, uh, as you can see, just start to open a new leaf. So they are, again, I wouldn't say they're hardy, but they're quite cold tolerant. So I'm hoping I can get away with keeping that all winter in here. Um, along with the Kent Ear Palms. And Sago Palm there. Got some queen palms here these are the mountain form and i fully expect these to look a bit rough they you know they did take a brown in the summer we didn't have a good summer they didn't put much growth on uh, they both sort of started pushing out a new leaf but um we didn't have any heat this summer at all so i'm not surprised they didn't do much growing and they're certainly not doing any growing now so we'll uh let them chill out over winter and hopefully next year they'll take off again. But interestingly, the Livingstone of Chinensis seems to be uh, absolutely fine with being in here. It's just opened up a new frond, or starting to open up a new frond there. Um, yeah, it's looking, looking quite good. Again, they are quite cold tolerant as long as you can. I think they, they, they will take a frost, but you, you'll lose the leaves. They, they brown off in no time with a proper frost. So this is why I kept this in a pot and watered this in the, in the shelter here in the summer house. But yeah, I think it's quite a nice tropical looking palm. Right, so I think we'll leave it at that. We're uh, got loads of uh, random plants near some that you probably wouldn't expect to be as cold tolerant as they are, like this philodendron, split leaf tree philodendron. That's uh, I spent the last two years in there. 
greenhouse, but it's getting a bit big for the greenhouse just coming here for this year, so we'll see how that does. The, the leaves do yellow a little bit, you know, it's not ideal light conditions or temperature, but they do take it. Quite a nice leaf on them there, look at that. Right, before I ramble on anymore, we'll leave it at that. And uh, thanks for watching.